building powerful worlds that tell your motion design story while making you look like a rock star is actually incredibly easy. We'll be combining 2D and 3D elements along with some clever techniques to create your cinematic vision. So open After Effects and Let's get started. All right, with the techniques we'll go through in this video, you'll be able to easily build a variety of different scenes in no time. But on a serious note, always create your background first and apply the gradient ramp effect from Generate and set the ramp to have two complementary colors or a light version and a dark version of the same color. We have a host of unique colors to work with here or you can just adjust this later. The next part is designing the landscape. So you can keep it really simple and use the rectangle tool to design a well rectangle. Or if you want to step it up a notch, uh, you can use the ellipse tool to create circles, uh, which then you can combine multiple circles together to create a unique landscape. If you want true customization, you can use the pen tool to create your own landscape design. Just be sure to stretch out every point to ensure your land is nice and smooth. I would even create multiple layers and stack them accordingly to create some depth. And of course, make sure to apply the gradient ramp effect to your landscape layers. Uh, just move the anchor points to close in around the edges of your layers then choose a color similar to your background. Okay, so all the basic setup work is out of the way and now we can truly expand and build out our worlds. So moving forward into the unknown, uh, we wanna create a master central object. Uh, since we know what we're doing, uh, I guess this is not unknown. So you can create any object that you like. Uh, for instance, uh, we can create a circle with the ellipse tool. I would right click the layer and go to layer styles and add a gradient ramp then you can edit the gradient to follow your current color palette. If you want to incorporate some 3D, we can also do that. For example, I'll create a stroke circle and make it a 3D layer and rotate it by 90 degrees. Just be sure to make your central object a 3D layer as well, and that looks cool. If you want a real 3D object, uh, as before, you can go ahead and create any shape that you want. Make sure your 3D renderer is set to Cinema 4D. Then navigate to the geometry options of that layer and increase the extrusion depth. If you're creating a box or a cube in my case, make sure the depth is the same as the box size. Then feel free to animate the rotation values to show off all three dimensions in style. But keep in mind, you may want to create a light when working with real 3D to make it stand out. Okay. Now that we have a central object, we can create similar objects that are much smaller and duplicate them around your scene. One thing I would explore is adding a bevel and emboss to some of these objects and just increase the size by, well, a lot. Also, change up the colors a bit as well. And as you can see, I just populated these scenes with cubes and circles. So nothing we haven't done. I said this would be fast and easy. One thing I would consider is the animation. For a quick intro into your scene, you can animate the position of everything all at once to pop into your scene. And pro tip, make the last keyframe easy ease by hitting F9 on your keyboard and smooth it out in the graph editor to have it pop into the environment. Another thing I would do is create a null object and parent everything to it. Then animate the null's position to have everything continue to float up into the sky. Uh, and this is just a quick way to manage keyframes. And now all this is coming together and we're just a few effects away from making this masterful. But before we move on, I just wanted to mention that we have a 100 free template pack that you should absolutely get your hands on for After Effects. And if you ever need to save time, we have over 35,000 templates to help you produce amazing work with the link below. Okay, let's finish our scene with the most important effects. First, create an adjustment layer and apply the noise effect. Set it to 12 or so percent. To give your scene a subtle bloom effect, apply the glow effect. Increase the radius to a tad over 100 and then duplicate the effect. Set the radius to 500 and alt click the stopwatch. And you can get away with by typing wiggle open parenthesis 2 comma 100 close parenthesis. And when done, duplicate the effect again and feel free to adjust the threshold of every glow effect and make the wiggle more intense depending on your scene. Keep in mind, you may not need to use all these glow effects and you know, one glow effect might just be more than enough. But if you really wanna go over the top, add the posterize effect and this will give your scene this beautiful texture. 
And if you want to add, say, stars, apply the CC ball action effect to a white solid layer, increase the scatter, increase the displace, and lower the ball size. And now you have a handful of techniques to go create your own worlds.